This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here. Kev, your sister's us. A bit of a strange interview in kind of destination. Shauna, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Oh, very well, thanks. Kev? You all right? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, I know yourself and Robbie Flynn have been um, managing Shauna. Just how did this link up come about and how have we got here? Basically, I bumped into him at the show, obviously, out in Dublin. Um, when Maisie Rose thought the guy would go that, he, that she boxed and he manages, um, and he's been coming, he's been bringing her down and Jim Spar and Maisie, and basically yeah, he just said like over in Ireland, they need a bit of help on the management side and the training side of things. I said like he said he's got a good girl in Shauna, and um, I said bring her over, let me meet her, I'll see what I think, and then we went from there really. Was you scared of him? No, <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of um, many people at all. Um, I was uh, delighted with the opportunity. I got other offers, as um, they know, and as soon as Robbie um, approached me with this offer, I jumped at it straight away. I got a ferry over here uh, last week, and I had a great week here. And I signed a contract with the lads, and now I'm ready to rock the pro game. For people who don't know you, what is your background, amateur experience over in Ireland? Um, I've won a couple of All-Irelands. I've shared the ring with uh, Katie Taylor, um, Kelly Harrington, Amy Broadhurst, and I just recently won the elites. I won a gold medal over in um, uh, Stranja Multi Nations tournament, and I just won a gold medal in Haringey also. And yeah. after that, then I decided What's to turn. Record? Oh, I have 130 uh, belts, uh, 124 wins, six losses. And obviously, as you know, obviously uh, Katie Taylor was a loss, and Kelly Harrington was only a spit decision. It was three two. It was very very close, and she's double Olympian. So, yeah, I've, sh- I've shared the ring with the best. She's fitting in well coming down the gym, Kev. Yeah, most definitely, she's doing very well. She's been very impressive, to be fair, Dan and Jim. She's been sparring with some great sparring partners, looking very impressive in doing so. Um, I think she's got a bright future, and definitely watch out for her. Who have you been sparring then? Um, I was sparring Emily Whitworth, um, yeah. Maisie, um, Fred Pullen, and Connor Mitchell. Connor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She shoulders her own of them. I think she spars the boys and shoulders her own of them. She's, she's very talented, very strong. I think with the right work and the right graft, she'll get it right. Just structuring it all properly, um, slowing her down a little bit sometimes and correcting her shots, and she'll go on and, and you watch her. With an amateur record like that, the pedigree that she comes from, is it going to be tough to kind of hold her back? I don't think it'll be tough to hold her back, but I, I suppose for a few people, I expect really big things from her. She's, um, she's very special. Um, yeah, I, I, I personally believe she could be easy, easily be a world champion. It's easy, it's mad to say that because when you've got kids that are not really, she's a novice in the pro game. But I've worked with a lot of good, talented fighters like Joe Gordana's, Felix Cash's, Ricky Burns's, John Ryder's. I've trained all of these fighters and I know what talent is when, I, when, I, when I've got it in my hands, when I'm padding them. And she's definitely a talent. How is it working with Kev just in the gym now? Um, it's unbelievable. Like, I came over the Saturday and I trained with him the Sunday and we gelled really, really well. and. Like even just a couple of hours of training with him and then the Monday I, I sparred and he just told me something different to do. Like he said, I have to slow down my shots and just add more of a twist into it and the power that I generated was second to none. So what we unleashed in a week, imagine what we'll do in three to six months to a year. So I believe I'm going to go very, very far with him and that's no word of a lie. Are you learning the differences between kind of the star wise for the amateurs and transitioning that into the pro game? Yeah, I'm learning it day by day, but it's, it's, every day is a school day um, in this, and I'll be learning all through my career. It's a long road ahead, but I'm ready for it. I know I'm a baby in it, but I think I have great attributes to bring to it in regards with my power, my physicality, my mental strength is probably the strongest um, out of anything, to be honest with you, so I can take on absolutely anything that comes my way. Training that gym, they say success breeds success, and it is one of the most successful stables in the UK. We've got Maisie Rose out, Maisie Rose out next week. Connor Ben was out in Orlando last night. You look at those people training in the gym, you think, yeah, that's going to be me one day. Yeah, of course. And it's not just that. It's just how welcoming they are when, when, we got in, when I first came into the gym. And, like, they big you up. They support you. Like, they make you a part of the team very, very, very quickly. And, like, I had Joe Cardino in my corner doing one of the spars last week. And he turned around and said to me, he was like, you're going to be a world champion. And to hear that from a world champion himself, it's just, it's amazing. But it just goes to show the uh, level I'm at. I never, I never believed that I could be at that level this, this quickly. But I know I'm going to grow um, more and more just being around those type of people. I'm going to thrive being around those type of people, do you know? 
You say, Kev, that you know what talent looks like. You've been there, you've done it yourself, and now you're working with all these fighters. Just how good is she? She's very good. She's exceptional. Um, she's star quality. Um, and you watch the punching power she has. She's the first girl I've ever seen taking girls out in sparring. I've, don't, I've never really seen her. I won't say her names. I'm not, I'm not like that. But she spars very, very tough, very strong. Yeah, and the, the punching power that she possesses is unbelievable. Um, she's explosive. And I think anyone she hits in the weight division, she'll take out. We do see a lack of knockouts in female pro game. Do you think you could kind of change that and start knocking people out? Maybe the Deontay Wilder of uh, the female division? Um, believe it or not, one of my goals when I came back, because I did work a lot my physicality and my, my strength work, um, it is something I really want to do because it is lacking. And I do believe I have that force and I have that power that I can learn to generate with the right training and with the right moves, of course. Yeah, 100%. I believe I can. To finish off then, when can we see you in the ring? Um, the date's been announced soon, so you'll just have to wait. <laughs> Excellent, Shona. Kev, thank you very much for being to IFL TV, and we look forward to see you in that ring.